Hello everyone, welcome to Tendi Garage. Today we're still going to be working on my 2020 BMW M340 iX drive with the B58TU as you can see. I have already have it laid out, uh, so you may know already that we are going to be replacing the air intake filter element. So we're going to reuse or uh, retain our stock intake we're not going to be or i'm not going to be going after market intake for various reasons i'll discuss later on but i'm just going to pop this one in there uh to maintain more like a higher airflow than the stock uh, intake element or the panel filter and then fun fact is that i already have the exact same one inside for several thousand kilometers already um, they are reusable and uh, washable so I'm going to pop that old one out and get it cleaned up but at the same time before waiting it to be dried out pop the new one in so that uh, in the next several thousand kilometers again I'm just gonna use the quote-unquote old one uh, and then pop this one out to replace it so that's the general gesture of it uh, after I replace it or maybe during replacing it I'll just go over why I prefer to retain the stock intake. Let's go It's very unfortunate I lost the adapter for my tripod over there. So I'm just going to be Very likely trying to do everything one-handed um, all the tools you need is a flathead screwdriver preferably uh, size one so it's the flatter or like the bigger tip size uh, probably gonna try with a pry bar if it doesn't work by any chance um, should be pretty simple looking at your engine bay just ignore the filter that's over there of course this is going to be your intake um, or at least the OEM intake you may notice that uh, mine's gonna look a little bit different because I have this is a Paradigm engineering uh, intake pipe and then this is in fact a various uh, resonator delete as well as well various engineering heat shield that's over there and, uh, supposedly for a supra but pretty much is the same thing uh, just remember if you do get that one get the six port because we're not the two port uh, like the super early model the a90 but looking back at your intake um, air box we are going to have one, two, going this side, three, and then four clips that you remove. But before I do so, I generally like to pop open your maps, uh, not map sensor, just like, nope, didn't work. You wanna, I think the flat hat will be my best choice. Pop it slightly open, just like that. And then I'll have it disconnected uh, because I will be pulling out um, the, the air box kind of go over like that. I don't wanna stress this um, connector or the wiring harness so generally speaking I just like to pull it up and then we're just going to pop this open like that and then the next one leverage pop it open like that and then there's one on this side pop it open like that the very last one right here there we go and then just carefully maneuver the upper part of your intake air box over and then you'll be exposed with your intake element like that you just gotta kind of maneuver it a little bit um, because we did not disconnect anything from here so just try not to pull everything hard uh, i'm just gonna flip it like that and then you'll just push your old panel filter out. Kind of hard to do it one-handed. Um, 
I'll leave it like that and do it two-handed, but you get the idea. And the new ones all off the back like that. This is the new one, this is the old one. And then you just want to mock up and see how your stock into box is going to look like. So you see the slanted line that's over there. So we'll have our intake panel filter element that's going to sit like that. Uh, like I said earlier, it's really hard to do it one-handed. So I'm just going to, um, with the magic of editing, to put it in and go over to the next shot. And as you can see, the new one's back in. If you have a hard time just sliding it in, I would advise you, you see how when I'm lifting it up, it I have a way wider opening from this side than, say, for example, that side. So I would say slide your and, um, filter going like this way so that it will be easier. So now that the new one's in, just make sure it's actually sitting tight because we'll have to quote unquote seal the intake box and then we're just going to maneuver um, the upper box over the bottom one and at this stage you want to make sure you're not pinching any clips um, when you're fitting the upper part to the lower part uh, I'll start with the easiest ones which is here push it in and then the next one right here, I'll push it in. This one right here, push it in. And this one I always find the hardest. Um, probably uh, because it's sitting up against the frame, I think I'll either try to find a pry bar because I don't think I'm going to be able to find myself using my finger over it. Nope. Uh, I'll try to find either a pry bar or a hook, something like that. Uh, and then I'm gonna grab on, say for example, like this ridge, rigid part, I guess. Um, so kind of like that, and then bring it forward to clip it in. That's the idea. I found the easiest is going your screwdriver this way, and then once it gets almost to the point, then you looks like you're gonna be able to hook it over with. And just pry, give it some leverage, pops right in. And once you have that one in, just want to make sure that one, two, three, four, all four of them are clipped in. They're not moving anywhere. When you try to move the upper part of the air box, it's not going anywhere. Lastly, do not forget to plug back in your map sensor or else you will have a check engine light, which is completely unnecessary. Just click it in like that. You should hear an audible click. And then you wanna press back in your locking connector. Just like that, you light up, not going anywhere. We are okay. And now I have my old intake filter that's wrapped in the original plastic bag. I'll just store it away. Uh, when I have time later on, I'll wash it uh, with the spray that AAV uh, sold separately. Uh, just basically you spray a couple quarts um, at the media filter, wait for, uh, for a couple of minutes, uh, hose it off with just water, and then air dry the filter. After it's dried, uh, you will be able to well, swap it for the next time. That's essentially it. Because this is a dry media filter, I don't have to oil it. So with that being said, before I conclude this video of how to change your intake, panel filter with the OEM intake box. I want to go over a couple of points why I'm retaining the OEM airbox system or intake airbox system with obviously a couple of goodies. But um, the first one being, this is actually a really, well, quote unquote, cold air intake design. It has a closed airbox so that um, your engine inevitably is going to radiate heat uh, when it goes over or when it's in operating temperature and guess what's close to your engine your intake if it's an open box design which some of the companies out there do sell it's basically sucking in all the air fresh air obviously from your grill all the way to your intake 
but other than that, it's also receiving or taking in the heat radiated from your engine. So in turns, it's going to reduce performance because of your intake or aftermarket intake. Obviously, this one's a closed um, box system. It's not going to have that problem. But with the open air box, you get cool intake noises, you get turbo whistles, you get turbo noises, all that kind of good stuff. But do keep in mind, it may reduce your engine performance. And secondly, I mentioned earlier, this is not what I have right now. It's not an oiled system. That being said, there are other intake systems out there that are oiled. But if you think of it that way, like I said earlier, fresh air going in from your grill to your intake system or filter and pass on to your intake pipe, to a turbo inlet, all that kind of good stuff to before it reaches your engine. This is a MAF sensor, mass airflow sensor. And basically it's like a needle, like poking out here and measuring the airflow going past this way so that the, or your ECU or your DME can decide how much amount of fuel it needs to be injected to your engine. Um, but that's too technical, but I'm trying to say is when you have uh, fresh air passing through this, but because your intake filter is oil, is an oil system, those oil may and will actually contaminate your MAPS airflow sensor. And uh, you're just required to clean it every once in a while. But now that because what I have right, uh, is a dry media filter, it does not require me for uh, to, to clean the MAPS airflow sensor. That being said, it's a maintenance free procedure um, with, I don't really believe it's added power, but some may argue that it has at a power because it's more so um high flow air intake system or the filter it's high flow um even so i don't doubt it's more than say like five horses i do this because this is a washable filter and it's not ridiculously expensive that's why i replace it and by the way this is an afe brand Pro Dry Series S, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, this fits the, the Supra as well as the M340i, I believe some other uh, 40i models as well. But with that being said, this concludes a video on how to change your air intake filter or panel filter from your OEM intake air box on a B58. Hopefully this was helpful to you and go over, we went over some points about why I'm retaining this uh, OEM airbox system, even though I've added the various engineering resonated delete as well as uh, paradigm engineering intake pipe as well as probably uh, paradigm engineering turbo inlet down the road so that it still gives me some cool intake noises when it's under load especially now that uh, i have a bm3 tuned stage one uh, because of the added load added boost uh, on certain throttle uh, input it does have some turbo noises that i can hear versus the oem like complete bone stock system that i couldn't hear anything uh, hope this was helpful to you if it was please give it a thumbs up as well as consider subscribing uh, I have recently reached over 100 subscribers. Thanks to all of you. Thank you very much for your support. I hope to see you in the next one as my subscribers. So cheers and peace for now.